Hey everyone, it's Aaron from Testo here at TCHS Brandywine in downtown Pennsylvania. Right now we're going to go into the measuring modes and take a look at how the Testo 557S and the 550S work for the measurement modes. So what we're going to go here is we're going to jump in to our digital manifold and as you can see we're connected up to a circuit right now. We're going to go ahead and run the target superheat mode and I'm going to show you how to switch that and how easy it is. So what we're going to go is we're going to hit the menu button. We're going to go ahead into the measuring mode, which you'll be able to see all the different measurements. Now I want to make the point that the manifold is controlling the app at this point. So if you want to change your measurements, very simple, do it on your manifold and you're set to go. So we're going to scroll down to the target superheat. And one of the nice features is we can do a simple configuration up front. So what we're gonna go is we're gonna go into our outdoor dry bulb. And I have two of my 605i thermohydrometers from Testo. I'm gonna go ahead and select the smart probe. For my outdoor, I'm gonna go ahead and select this one, which is the top one. And then for my return air, well actually before I do that, I wanna make sure I have it lined up so that I know where I'm pulling my air from. I'm going to go into my return air. I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to do this other one. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, scroll down, hit OK, and then now we're set. So what we're going to do now is, and with the 605 eyes, you know you can have them straight up. You can also have them at a 45 degree bend. You can also have it at a 90 degree bend. So with this, traditionally we want to stick it in the return. And now we're starting to capture our return air wet bulb and our outdoor dry bulb. So once I have that all set up with my 115 eyes connected, I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. My 115 eyes are already connected to the proper lines. And I'm gonna do a pressure adjust, pressure side change, which if you have a high and a low side difference, the manifold will automatically update. Another really neat feature for those so that if you have lines crossed up, you don't have different readings, it will sense that and it will be able to tell you right away. So as you can see right now, right now we're in the process, which I'm going to go ahead and select my 410A refrigerant. And I can also do this on the application as well too, but I'm going to do it for the manifold, hit enter, and right there. So on the screen here, I want to just verify that I have the correct refrigerant. So we're running 410A, and as you can see on the display, you have that large graphical display that gives you all your readings in your hand. That's the one thing we did improve on the device is to have that larger display, LCD screen, and even the gauges, they still sweep like the traditional analog. So we still have that old school feel with the new school technology of digital manifolds. And if you can also see on the app, I'm getting the same details on my app. So right here I can see my target superheats at about, say we're about 14.9 because we're taking our condensate and our evaporator temperatures, our suction and liquid line temperatures, which are giving our subcooling and superheat, and then with the 605 eyes in the airflow within the units, we're also getting all that, those details, all those measurements, all in the device where it's doing the calculations for you. And also the ability to make sure that we have everything on the app and also in your hand. Special thank you today to TCHS Brandywine in downtown Pennsylvania for allowing us to use their HVAC lab. And for more information on more Testo products, visit us at www.testo.com.